Okay, uh, hello. I don't, I don't remember much of what I said in yesterday's vlog. I, I think I just kind of gave you the rundown of how my hearing went and which in many ways went well. I uh, was, you know, interrogated very specifically, intimately, and I gave clear answers and I felt like the judge liked me or believed me and um, there was this um, form that Stony Brook was supposed to send to my lawyer that had uh, all my treatment that I've had since I've been there, all my meds. And um, the judge was asking my lawyer, like, well, where is this? We need this. And the lawyer was like, I'm really sorry. It's supposedly in the mail. Like, you know, it's really frustrating. We didn't get on time. So that was like a snag. And um, at the end of the um, hearing, I'm sorry if I've said this before, at the end of the hearing, um, the judge was like, well, I, um, you know, it's my prerogative whether or not to uh, request that document, and I'm going to, I want to see it. And um, to me, like, kind of felt like he needed more proof, like, it's like that I am as sick as I say I am. He knew I was on lithium. He had his little computer, and he's like, mm, you're on lithium. But, like, I, I don't know. And, but when it was all over, uh, my attorney, I think his name was Sean. No, that's my doctor. Uh, it was like some Irish name, Patrick. Um, uh, he was like, that's a really good sign. Um, it's a good sign. Uh, and you did really well, uh, you know, so it's looking really good for you. Um, but the other thing, and I don't know if I got into this yesterday, is that the two of them got into this intense conversation with me right there, and I wasn't allowed to say anything about, um, like way back when I started with Binder and Binder, my law firm, they, um, one of the questions, I had answered many questions uh, about my work history and my um, medical history and um, mainly those, but um, of the last 15 years. That's what they look at the last 15 years. So even though I was diagnosed in 93 or 94, the 90s don't count. Um, anyway, um, and fortunately within the last, fortunately, within that last 15 years, I have my salsa and everything to like show that my mental illness is hardcore. So, um, Anyway, they start arguing because when I first started with this lawyer, law firm, they said, when is the last time you worked? And I wrote May 2010, um, which is the last, well, actually 2014, I started Barnes & Noble and a group home, uh, which was such a disaster, those two together, that I wound up going to um, a day program, outpatient thing. But before that, um, so I don't know why I didn't write the last time I worked was 2014. I, I don't remember. But I wrote 2010. And um, because that was the last time I worked for Linda. And um, so yesterday, the judge was like, why did you stop working in 2010? And I said, I was pregnant. And like, he was like, the two of them were like, pregnancy is not an illness. Like that, that's totally irrelevant. That's not an illness. Uh, so you quitting because of, of pregnancy doesn't mean that you quit because of your, um, your illness. And I was like, I was like, I know. I was like, I just answered the question. When was the last time it worked? So like, that was it. Like. It wasn't the last time I ended a job for being fired or quitting because of my mental illness. It just is the last job that I left. I just gave a, a basic factual answer. I didn't know 
should I have written 2009 when I couldn't handle working for public Portland Public Schools and just stopped going and answering their calls? I mean, that would be my last mental illness job a year before or a year and a half before. But I didn't even get to say that. They started like, uh, like loudly talking about this with each other. And um, I felt really intimidated because I didn't exactly understand what the issue or the problem was. And um, as a sidetrack, when I came home and told Paul this, Paul has done a lot of the communicating with my law firm because I would be scared. And uh, he was like, they, every few months they'd be like, when was her last, uh, um, when did she quit her last job? And uh, we have here May 2010. And, like, it was never clarified. And maybe if I had done the talking and not Paul, I would have figured out what they were looking for exactly. I don't know. I don't know. It's fucked up that I couldn't deal with those calls. I wish I had, but I couldn't. Okay, so now anyway, yesterday, they're going back and forth about it. And I started kind of like not listening in a way. I, I just, I don't know. I can't even remember right now, this was yesterday. So it's over, I'm in the hallway with my lawyer and he's like, you know, let's talk more, like kind of go over everything. And um, he's like, he's like, look, 2010, you know, you used to quit because of a pregnancy, that's not an illness. And I was like, I know. I was like, but in the 15 years, starting from 2014 when I filed my claim, in those 15 years, Every single job ended because of my mental illness, and there's a pattern. And this one job I quit for a different reason, but there is a 15-year pattern. And he's like, this isn't about the pattern. And I was like, I thought it was about the pattern. I thought it was all about proving the pattern. And um, he just repeated, he's like, uh, you know, we have you down, it's quitting 2010, and that's, a, that's not... Um, for uh, a mental health reason, so it's not considered uh, um, a mental illness reason. It wasn't a mental illness reason. And the jobs you quit or get fired for have to be for mental illness reasons. I was like, I know. I was like, I guess I shouldn't have put 2010. I only put 2010 because that was the last job that I had. And so that's like... That's what that means. That's what that meant to me. I was like, but there's still all those jobs, many jobs in different fields, and that was supposed to be important. Was that I tried work in different fields. So he, I could feel he was impatient to talk to me, and he's like, you know what? Look, he's like, it's all right. He's like, you filed your claim in November 2014, and your last two jobs in November 2014 were. Uh, uh, the summer and fall. He's like, so it's really close to your last few jobs. So it's fine. It's fine. And I was like, okay. And then he like went to go back into the courtroom area. And I was like, hey. I was like, how did I do? And he's like, you're great. You're great. And um, kind of like it was uneasy. I was like, glad. I knew I did a really good job in the courtroom. I knew I was completely convincing. Um, so I knew that. And so anyway, um, we went to the outdoor, that um, arboretum. That was nice. We come home. And like all of a sudden at home, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, are they going to not count everything before May 2010? Because I made that May 2010 error and that they're only going to look at what I did close to when I filed the claim, which is like three weeks worth of work. I think I worked at Barnes and Noble for two weeks 
and then the the um, the old people with dementia DD job for like ten days. And so I was like, am I only going to get money for those two like the jobs of extremely brief duration and um I started panicking like hyperventilating and then like the lawyers take a percentage of the like the award I was like what are they gonna get like 15 bucks like and I was like like complaining I was like going over this with Paul and I was so panicked and I was like could you please call um Vendor and vendor. I knew the lawyer wouldn't be around. He's still in the courthouse, but maybe get a good paralegal and, and like and find out what this means. And Paul was like really like frozen and like he was like, I can't do that. I don't understand the issue. And I was like, Well, I just explained it to you, and I could explain it again. And I felt totally incapable of making the call. And I was like, I was like in my mind, I was like, Just make the call. Just make the call. Poppy's freaking out. On Roblox. Uh, okay, I'm on the phone. Oh, sorry. Got it. Okay. Um, that is so confusing to me. Okay, so I was like, just, just call, just call, just call. Like, don't make Paul do this. But I really wanted Paul to do it because I kind of thought that if Paul would understand the issue, that he actually would be able to. Um, ask probing questions like I might be inclined to be passive and be like okay like I actually thought like Paul on the ball would be like what do, what do you mean like she she does have this 15 year look like, what exactly does this mean and like a man voice she was just like I can't do it like flat and I, I couldn't push him to do what really is my job and um um panic panic it's like really panicking because i was like i have all these years all, so many years and I, I was like he said it's not about the, i was like it's it's about the pattern he's like it's not about the pattern i couldn't make sense of that i've been told the whole these past two years this process two years more than two years 2014 almost three years um okay so my panic became so extreme and Paul was so distant and remote that I went into like suicidal mode, like not really, but you know, that like brain crushing. And um, so um, I actually texted my therapist, which I, she's always said I can do, but I've never felt, anyway, I did. And I was like, please call me. I'm panicking about something that took place at my disability hearing. And she called and I told her briefly like this deal. And, and I was like, I was like, he said, it's not about the pattern. I was like, are we not gonna, are they not going to look at, like, they have all that information. They have my whole resume. Um, they're going to receive my whole uh, treatment um, program. And they have an extensive letter from Dr. Allen. Uh, they have, like, all this shit. And it's going to be, like, because I mistakenly wrote May, t May 2010, like, like, I didn't quite understand what they were looking for in that one instance. I was like, they're not going to look at my whole... 15 years and she was like she's like they will she's like they're being lawyers and judges she's like they are um they're uh being really uptight about paperwork and dates and that's part of their job is to get things like exactly right and um and they're not going to deny you they're not going to ignore your whole life history because of this, uh, like, wrong piece of paperwork. Uh, she's like, she's like, it's gonna be fine. So I calmed down, I calmed down, and, um, God, it's at 1429 already. Um, um, I might have to just continue this in a two-minute one, because I have one more thought, but I gotta go.